Synchrotron radiation is a, uh, it's a, it's a form of light that we get from um, having, uh, in this case, electrons that are spinning at nearly the speed of light, and we, we make them kind of wiggle in a magnetic field, and because they're wiggling, they give off light. And uh, what makes that special for us is that we can make nearly a laser beam, almost a laser beam, of x-rays. And we can change the energy of those x-rays um, in ways that are very useful to us for studying lots and lots of different materials. We wanted to study Parkinson's disease because it's, it's an extremely challenging and complex disorder. Um, at the moment, we do know a lot about processes in the brain that change and break down, but we're still a long way from understanding these processes well enough to be able to come up with a cure or a proper prevention for the disease. In existing studies of Parkinson's patients using magnetic resonance imaging, um, there's a lot of evidence to suggest that uh, the critical region of the brain that's affected, where the cells are lost in this disease, um, that there's a change in magnetic resonance imaging signal from this region of the brain. And it's thought at the moment that this change is due to additional iron being present in this region where the cells are and where the cells are dying. So what we're doing is we're using synchrotron x-rays -ray, and magnetic resonance imaging on very high resolution, almost down to the, the, the resolution of the individual cells. Um, and we're combining these two techniques to see whether that change in MRI signal is directly due to changes in iron. We're taking MRI images of, of tissue from Parkinson's patients, and we're taking the same tissue and we're imaging in, in the synchrotron. The two images, we then overlap those. We get different information from those two images. The, the MRI is something that we can do in the, in, in the hospital now to live patients. The synchrotron, we can't do that. So what we want to do is take the information from the synchrotron and say, okay, this tells us something about the actual chemistry that's going on inside the brain as the disease progresses. And how does that translate to something that the doctor can look at on the MRI? And that's what we're doing. One of the problems at the moment with treating Parkinson's disease is that when you have somebody who's presenting with the symptoms of the disorder, there's typically been an irreversible loss of cells in that region that we've been discussing, the, the motor neuron um, cells in the substantia nigra region of the brain. Now, if it was possible to intervene before an irreversible loss of these cells had taken place, at the point where there are chemical changes occurring that make these cells vulnerable, but before so many have been lost that the brain can no longer compensate and you, and you get all of the symptoms um, occurring, if you could intervene at this early stage, then that might be a very significant um, benefit to, to patients, even if we couldn't actually cure the disease, we could maybe hold it back.